Look at her! Oh my gosh, I actually think she's the cutest one yet. Welcome back to a new video. I am super excited. I've been excited all weekend waiting to play this game because today we're going to be playing some more BitLife Controls My Life with this little adorable family here, the Bell family. We are little Violet Bell and whatever happens in BitLife, I am replicating in The Sims. Now this was originally meant to be just one video, but I ended up getting so attached to my family that I'm making it into a little mini series. You guys gave the first video so much support, so thank you guys so much. And don't forget to let me know what we should be doing in the series and i'm gonna try and keep replicating things as closely as i can so let's get into it let's play some more bit life controls my sims so this is our little family it says that all the kids are at daycare but clearly okay now they've gone to daycare they've just disappeared things are getting pretty squishy in the house because they decided to have so many kids and i am currently at school i'm hungry i'm hoping i'm gonna eat food at school what i'm gonna do is get her to study hard at school here is my bit life game i've been just going in every like i've been so scared of losing this game that I keep going back in and like just making myself talk to family members. I haven't aged me up in any way but I've been so scared that I would lose the game that it would somehow like just go away so I have been doing that. So I'm gonna get her to also study harder in school. We know our kid isn't smart and like well I say our kid it's me. It's me. It's me. I know I'm not smart but I also know from previous games that you can't really increase the smartness that much and if you're not super smart you don't automatically go on the path to university or anything so I'm thinking thinking that we probably won't end up going to uni, which is fine. There's no university in this game. But hey, at least it's still, uh, at least I can still work hard in the game and work hard at school. If you guys remember, I have three siblings. I have Ellis, who's at daycare. I have um, Margaret, who's at daycare. And we also have little baby Joan. Their ages in game are, Ellis is four. Margaret is three and Joan is one and I am six. So I guess when I age up another year, I will end up probably, uh, sorry, Ellis is probably gonna get to the sort of age where he'll start heading to school. He's my little brother. We are all these like raven haired, super attractive babies. So, oh, did you hear that? It just played a baby's noise, but I can't see any babies. Okay, so Audrey's back home, which also unfortunately means babies are back home. I'm also back home as well. Uh, no need to make room on the refrigerator door. Her work is merely satisfactory. Oh, mum's so gross, but having four kids is literally so hard. I'm gonna get mum to first of all. Oh, she's talking with me. Oh, I'm asking her for some advice. That's cute. I'm gonna get her to give uh, a bubble bath to Stinky little Margaret and I am gonna go ahead here and see little Joan. I'm just gonna coo her and talk to Joan. I actually don't think in um, bit life I can do anything with my baby sister yet. She's also like super high looks but super high petulance which is like disagreeability. Like she's not the nicest sim um, but I do want me my sim to have good relationship with all the family so I'm trying my best. And uh, after that I'm gonna have to go to bed. I'm so sleepy. It's only 3pm but I'm already sleepy. And here is my mum and and my third, <laughs> the third this? youngest sibling, oh, my little sister, Margaret. Was I might give the mum some new clothes because I'm not really digging the way that she's dressing. I only gave the mum and dad like an everyday outfit because I assumed that this is just going to be one episode. But now that we're actually going to do a few more episodes with them, I think it's probably worth giving them a couple more outfits. And the reason this video is coming up before the rest of my series is literally I was just so scared of this app. Like I'm losing all my data from this app and I really didn't want that to happen. And then mum's getting herself a shower as well because she's pretty stinky. Key. Margaret's bopping, bopping up and down, being adorable. And dad's home from work. Oh my gosh. All of them are like so miserable. So gross, so smelly, just all around pretty horrible, but there's not much I can do about that. They've got four babies, this is gonna happen. Oh my gosh, mum's so had enough of life that she's actually just eating applesauce. And the baby's crying. <laughs> this life sure is hard. I've noticed as well that I've, I've just been clicking a uh, bottle feed towards the end. She's like breastfed three babies. I think at this point she's just had enough. <laughs> While they're doing their bits and bobs, I am gonna go ahead and Give them a few new looks. So our parents are super young. So in my head, that means they're probably going to be kind of trendy. I'm not spending absolutely loads of time on their looks just because like, I it's all about me, you know, I'm the main character. But these are Sims from your ga the gallery that you guys added as well. So it's pretty cool that you get to see them in game. And I add all the boyfriends and stuff from the gallery too. Or girlfriends. I don't know. I'm going to let my Sim pick our own sexuality. Well, my bit life character will automatically pick their own. Okay, so dad has a few more looks. 
just so that he looks like I just don't like it when they appear with like loads of non CC clothing on. It vexes me. <laughs> and our mum kind of has this adorable reporter type. Wow, okay. Adorable reporter type look, which I really like. She's so cute. Like, they're pretty terrible at birth control, but they've still kind of like got it together a little bit. And I'm proud of them for that. Also, mum has stayed an absolute stick despite having four babies. I don't know quite how she's achieved that. Okay, so there we go. We've got some more looks for the mum. The mum to me, Audrey, she's just iconic. Like, I love Audrey. <laughs> There's something about her that I just think is so amazing and I love her to bits. Okay, that's enough of that because I could spend a long time in cast, as you guys well know. And so tomorrow in sim life, I'm going to age myself up another year in game. So I'm going to get her to talk again with Ellis. So let's go ahead and have a conversation with him. Oh, and another disagreement. He's tough, so I'm unfortunately gonna have to get them to have an argument. Let's try with Margaret. Let's have a conversation with her. Okay, Margaret, it went well with. Dad's asleep on the floor. So we can have a nice conversation with Margaret. Oh man, look at this. This is just like the state of our family. Oh, and she's been mean to put. Oh, look at him going through the door with his little sad face. It's too much, it's too much. But at least we can be nice to little Margaret. However, I feel like I have to get... Okay, Ellis, he should be at about 70. Margaret and... um. Ellis, uh, sorry, Margaret and Jonah are about 80% friendship, so I have to try a little bit harder with Margaret, make sure that these guys can be good friends. And honestly, I still do need to work on Ellis a little bit, so I'm gonna try to match my relationships in game with my relationships in bit life, in Sims and bit life, since you know they're both games. <laughs> oh man, look at us two just napping in this room. <laughs> And look at the floor everywhere is just a state. This is real hard, guys. This is definitely real hard. They're trying their best, though. They're young. My parents are only 25 and 26, and they have four children. Ali is the same age as um, Rory, and I can't imagine Ali trying to look after four babies and be a fireman. <laughs> Especially when he's been invited out to bars. No, thank you. Oh, look at us all eating together. Despite the chaos, they're such a cute family. Like, I actually love them all so much. <laughs> look how cute. Look how cute they all are. I'm gonna be nice to my brother again as well since I was so mean to him earlier on. Okay, so at this point, poor Rory really has had enough. He's up at 5 a.m. But I said the next day I was gonna do another year. So let's go ahead and go another year. So we're now seven years old. Uh, Ellis is five. He hasn't started elementary school yet though. I'd usually get the thing that told me he'd started elementary school. So I'm gonna hold on to him being a, a toddler just a teeny tiny bit longer. Just so that when he starts elementary school, that's when I'll age him up. And what kind of activities can we get up to? We can go to the movie theaters and see a movie. So we, our enjoyment went up loads from that. I'm gonna try and see if I can spend some time with dad. Okay, we went to a Justin Timberlake concert. That's not really something I can replicate the sims let's try again oh you know what i can start doing i can start asking for money okay dad gave us 21 pounds how about mum mum gave us 21 okay they're not gonna be giving us a lot of money in life by the looks of it but hey it's better than nothing and you and your father went to dinner so we're gonna have a daddy daughter dinner today that's gonna be real cute and i'm not getting her to do her homework because her smarts in game are only 12 percent. so there's no point and i'm having a little play in the bath before school so that's great crack <laughs> although not so much for my dad who kind of needed to use the bathroom before work and i was too busy playing in the bath and dad's gone to work too, so I'm gonna get a nanny for the kids. Okay, so dad's home from work, he's absolutely shattered, but we are meant- to, so am I. We're meant to be going for a daddy-daughter meal, so he's gonna get a quick rest, and then we're gonna head out for some food together. And the baby's crying! That's so stressful! <laughs> what is with this game and not putting restaurants anywhere? That's so weird, we're gonna have to go to a bar to eat. What? There's a pretty weird way to grab dinner <laughs> in a bar, which seems to be a very much single style. But hey, at least we're spending a little bit of daddy-daughter time together. So let's have a nice conversation with dad. Your father had, had, you and your father had a chat about whether the Easter Bunny was real. Weird man is sat in between the middle of us, okay? Oh, it's ladies night at the bar, wow. I'm gonna have to add a restaurant to the neighborhood. But still, I'm pretty happy that daddy and daughter are spending some nice time together having a little g oh i think he's in such a bad mood nice conversations though please okay i'm gonna get i'm literally that was the shortest daddy daughter dinner ever but i feel so weird about having her like out at a bar in the middle of the night so 
but ladies night even it just feels real wrong so i'm gonna send them both home especially since dad is so tired and i feel bad leaving mom at home with three babies too okay back home baby's crying let's get dad into bed let's change this diaper and let's get the kids ready to sleep as well oh wow dad didn't even make it to bed he's literally just sleeping <laughs> in the hallway and okay everyone's asleep time to age up another year i'm gonna get her to study hard in school because she did go to school okay my little brother ellis started elementary school we're now eight also joan is our first little blonde haired girl she's now three so we've got two birthdays for today which is saturday and of course we wake up to the same beautiful sound as always a screaming baby actually always takes me until like 2 p.m till everybody's up and like fed still not bathed we're getting there it's a really slow process our babies tend to look like this quite a lot of the time they're so cute though they are literally so cute i can't wait to make little joan a little blondie baby she's gonna be adorable and obviously we get a fire obviously but luckily he's a firefighter so we got straight on that oh wow and i actually had a sprinkler fair play to me oh man everyone's fun is so low I just, oh, look at this, a little friendo. I am actually like, I can't add myself like friends in the game. Like you only team, seem to really get like boyfriends and stuff, but I'm still just gonna get her to like actually have somebody in the world that she can talk to, you know? Me, I, I can have someone to talk to. And I'm gonna go ahead and age up a little Joan. So let's age up her and we can do her as a toddler. And then we can do Ellis as a uh, child. It will slowly get easier. Slowly more and more people are able to look after themselves. So here we go. Joan is aging up into a toddler. Literally the first one that actually had naturally black hair is going to be the first one with blonde hair. And her petulance is really high as well. So she's going to be a tough toddler. So let's make her fussy. There we go. And like all the other kids, she's got really high looks. So let's make her super pretty. So here we go. Here is adorable baby Joan. She could be actually the cutest and prettiest yet. She's absolutely adorable. And like me, yeah. she got um, like our mother's violet eyes because Margaret, I still think Margaret's a bit of a strange name for a baby, but okay, Margaret and Ellis, they both got dad's eyes. So, oh, look how cute she is, guys. She's so adorable. Look at her. Oh my gosh, I actually think she's the cutest one yet. Oh man, I kind of wish my son would have got blonde hair, but never mind. Now that she's grown up, I'm gonna have a conversation with her. Okay, this is nice because they get on fairly well. So I'm going to go ahead and start chit-chatting with my sister. And all the kids are sad about the fire. <laughs> I look at the parents just outside like, we need to get away. We need to just get away from these babies. They're just too hard. Why did we have four babies at the same time? I don't even know. It's a real tough life. At least they've not had any more. So, you know, they got that going for them. Okay, so the next thing to do is little Ellis's birthday. So we've got a cake baked. Time to go ahead and get him to blow out the birthday candles. Dad, you can help with this one, okay? Uh, help blow out the candles, little Ellis. Oh, and why are you so angry? You're angry because you're hungry. Oh, look how cute he is. He's so adorable. I'm sad they're all grown up so fast because they're so cute to watch. How are you meant to blow it out when you've got your dodie in, Ellis? A little funny one. Oh, mum's celebrating over there. It's actually quite a nice household today compared to normal. And okay, Ellis has grown up in game. Let's have a look at Ellis. He's still pretty stupid. He's still got such high petulance, but he is attractive. He does also still have black hair. So I am going to make him... I'm going to make him a bit of a hot-headed sim because his petulance is so high. And his lifelong aspiration... It's not going to be mental. I'm going to keep it social because he was a bit of a social butterfly as a kid. Okay, let's go ahead and design him as well. <gasps> he can bite. Oh, no, she can bite him. Oh, my gosh, don't do that. Okay, so as everybody knew, Ellis has grown up to be such an adorable little boy i'm so excited to see them like grow up all the way but i've given him his outfits and stuff i think he's so cute all the kids are just gonna be like ultra adorable i can just tell like my eyes are all like like getting all watery but just because they're all so cute and i'm gonna say that my hair has also i don't know if it has in game or not but i'm gonna make my hair go a little bit longer just like a little bit of a change in style and i'm also gonna switch out my headband to a bit of a dotty one so i'm getting a little bit older as well i think i'm I'm still super cute. 
You can give myself another outfit as well. Everyone else has got two, so so should I. <laughs> okay, there we go. I've also got myself a little second outfit as well. Such an adorable family. Gosh, I love this so much. This is so fun. Everyone's literally so, so bored. But since it's a weekend and I can't like go to school or anything, I'm just gonna get her to keep trying. Oh, she gets some really well with Margaret. That's cute. Just keep trying with her family to make sure everybody like keeps like a really good relationship. Oh my gosh, Ellis is really hard to get along with. Like, no what? Like, they agree that time, but half the time when I talk to him, it just goes really wrong. I'm gonna see if she can spend some time with her mum as well today. Let's go ride bumper cars. Okay, I can't do that. Is there anything else we can do? We went to the library. I could definitely do that. Okay, mum. Oh, mum's sleeping. Mum's real tired. Maybe on Sunday we can go to the library together. As you can see, I'm taking this so seriously. It's only funny if you take it super seriously, okay? <laughs> oh, and I've just realized I'm gonna need to buy another bed, aren't I? We don't need these cots anymore, so I'm gonna move the two toddler girls in that room. I actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna have to have like a girl's room and a boy's room, which does kind of because it means that I have to share a bed with like both of my little sisters. <laughs> is not gonna be ideal, but it's the best way to do things, I think. Okay, it's Sunday. We're gonna do the library with mum. There is a library in game, so I can do that. And all I keep getting is the noise when toddlers are angry, because my toddlers are just little vexed heads all the time. Toddlers in The Sims are almost like aren't fun, just because they're so difficult. And mum and dad are like catching up desperately on sleep this weekend. I don't know what the skill is that he's building in his sleep, but it's he's building something. Okay, and mum's up, so we are gonna head to the library together. We're getting good reputations though just because I'm making them be so wholesome and nice because that's how I roll. And let's go to the library together. I'm also going to make myself go to the library in uh, Bit Life as well. Oh no, I can't yet. I can't go to the library yet. Just because I want to work on my smarts a little bit. I can't believe my looks are 98%. That's pretty impressive. And I'm spending some it? nice quality time with <laughs> Mummy Bear as well. Even though I kind of need a wee. So if these her toilets have... A uh, library has a toilets, so that would be grand. And then there. It's a bit of a strange activity, but we've both just come to the library so we can have a little <laughs> mummy and daughter reading day. Very, very cute. Okay, let's see what happens next in the app. So we are now uh, nine years old, I think, or eight years old. Wow, the playground is actually empty. What will you pick? The swing, the slide, or the monkey bars? Let's go for the swing. Okay, we went to the swing and Margaret started elementary school. We are nine years old. Our looks have even gone up to 99%. Wow. So I'm gonna get mum to take us to the playground so that we can go on the swing. So far it's just been lots of like aging up and whatnot, hasn't it? And we've still got no more siblings. I feel like they've stopped at four children, which is great. So the playground pretty much is empty apart from one kid. More bonus points for realism. Also, it's funny because they're all like the kids that were are, like dead and gone in my main series game because it's been so many generations. But in this game, they're all still like at their OG sizes or ages, not sizes. And mum has taken me to, oh, look at that tree just appearing, taken me to the swings. I picked to go in the swing together. So that's nice. Another lovely little part of my childhood. So far, it is so wholesome, which I actually just love so much. So this is just real cute and sweet. But we need to go home because little <laughs> Margaret it is time for Margaret to age up as well. Plus, mum's probably gonna wee in those nice tight little pink trousers if she's not careful. Let's head home. We had a nice time on the swing together though. Honestly, I sort of feel like I've had a really nice childhood. Like, I get on really well with all of my siblings, even though they're quite hard to get along with. I still have a good relationship with them. Apart from Ellis, Ellis I struggle with. Like, he just wants to argue with me all the time. So I don't really know what to do with him. He's just a real tough cookie. So when I get home, I'm gonna get her to have another argument with him as well. Here we go, me and Ellis. I hate making them do this, but they're gonna have a little argument about arguing with each other since Ellis is really hard to get on with. My relationship with Ellis is like almost half now. So I'm gonna have to make them fall out a little bit in game. Oh, they're really going for it though. They're kind of doing it all on their own. It's so realistic. Okay, so I'm working on getting these guys' relationship down. It's tough because they get on with each other really well, but dad's gonna go ahead and age up little Margaret. It's like barely having them for any time at their age group in The Sims, but in bit life, it's the right sort of age up timings. Wow, we're still really going at it together. <laughs> 
Okay, so mum's gonna be here to watch little Margaret age up. I feel like she's still adorable. Let's have a look. Yeah, her looks are still really high. Her petulance, petulance isn't too bad. So she's definitely nicer than her brother. So she was a silly child. I'm gonna keep her, I'm gonna make her a creative sim and I'm gonna make her, since her petulance is, she's quite like, she's actually a nice natured sim. So I'm just gonna make Margaret like quite good. There we go. So Margaret is good. Let's go ahead and design the way she looks because she still has her black hair. She's also got a headband as well. Okay, Margaret looks a lot like the mother, I think. I think Margaret's gonna end up looking very much like mum, but with different eyes. And here is how she looks as a kid. So we'll give her one more outfit. They are all quite different looking so far. So here's all of her little outfits. I don't know why I bother spending so much time on this because they don't spend very long in this age, but still. And we seem to get on pretty well with Margaret. So that's nice. It's just Ellis that we're struggling with. So I need to keep making her and Ellis like argue. Say that they've touched each other's stuff and just been mean to each other. <laughs> Giving each other horrible gifts and stuff. Can we get some cake as well though? Oh my gosh, and look at this. I'm actually social level eight because I get her to communicate with the family so much since I do it in bit life. She's actually such a happy, cute little well-rounded child. So that's nice. Ah. <laughs> My life in bit life is more wholesome than my real life, I swear. And I can get um, Margaret a bed now as well. I'm gonna get them some nicer beds because it's taken them ages to get like their sleepies, sleepies up. And these beds seem to do a better job. Okay, and then everybody needs to get some sleepies, please. Oh gosh, she's sleeping in the bath. Don't do that, jeez me to die in the bath. There we go. Everyone's successfully in bed. Now we've got three of them as kids. It's definitely getting a little bit easier. Although having one bathroom, definitely not getting much easier. I think I'm gonna have to get like a bathroom extension somewhere. Maybe like on the front of the house here. Because having only one bathroom is just not the one. And little Margaret has her first day of school together. She loves baths. Margaret seriously loves a good bath. But she has started elementary school. So I'm gonna get her first day of elementary school. And then I'm gonna make my Myself study hard at school today, okay? Because our smarts are 16, which is real bad. Okay, while everyone's at work, I'm gonna go ahead and age up another day. Another year, even. So, the cool girls at school invite you to go see a hot new kids movie. Uh, yes, I'll go with them, but I don't really quite know how to do that in game. So maybe I'll just invite a friend around and they can go and watch a little bit of TV together. Kids TV. I'm gonna get her to keep trying to study, but honestly, she's just not very smart. And let's see how things are going with the fam. Still getting on really well with Margaret. Ooh, having a disagreement with Joan though. Let's apologize to her though, because she's so small and cute. Now let's try again with Ellis. Oh my gosh, me and Ellis just don't like each other. I don't know why, because he's so cute in game. I'm gonna ask for some money from my parents as well, just cause I kinda need it. But I've noticed that they're not getting promoted in their jobs or anything anymore. They're still the same as they were before. Oh, look at this, should Violet invite other classmate Billy? Oh, well that worked out pretty well because um, they could watch kids TV together and that could be like the movies thing, can't they? I don't know why I don't have the movie stuff back. I should probably get that. There we go. We've got the cool girls, which is Billy Jang around to go watch movies. Although everyone's feeling super tense because they're all stressed from school because no one's very good at it because they're all kind of stupid. Everybody just looks so angry. Like everyone's just so mad. I had a nice conversation with Joel, uh, with Margaret though. So I'm going to make these two get on well. These guys are getting on well with each other. Each other even oh, oh, God, angry and foul they look. but not so much with Ellis Ellis who I think is trolling the forums right now we're gonna argue some more with Ellis since that's what we did in bit life Jeez, and there's such a big thunderstorm going on outside it's actually kind of grim okay I'm gonna go ahead and age myself up another year so my little sister Joan has started elementary school this is so sad. I don't feel like she's been a toddler for two minutes, but I'm gonna have to go ahead and age her up. The house is such a wreck. Get mum to do a little bit of cleaning, I think. And I feel like she's gonna be such a pretty little girl. I feel like Joan's the most beautiful of all of us. Let's see if that matches up with bit life. She's like a 90. Ellis is probably 85. And Joan, yeah, Joan's almost 100, but really? I would actually say I'm 100% attractive. I'm actually the best looking of everyone. <laughs> Woo! Go me. And I'm super angry from arguing with my brother so much, but... Oh no, it's not me, it's not me. Woo! 
It's Joan's turn. Okay, she's actually sleeping at the moment, but we're gonna have to wake her up so that she can blow out some candles and grow up into a little girl. We're all gonna be the same age then. Although I'm I'm like 11, so I'm almost a teenager. And oh my gosh, I'm actually disagreeing with Joan as well. She's got really high petulance. I think Margaret is definitely our favorite sister because she is the most agreeable. The others are just hard. Like even Joan is like a little brat. My, my siblings aren't very nice. They're beautiful, but they're not very nice. And of course, we got the fire. Of course we do. And I swear at this point, I've had so many birthdays in such a small amount of time. They were basically just sort of living on birthday cake. But there we go. This little one, Joan, has aged up too. So I'll go ahead and give her her looks. She, like her brother, is actually a little bit of a brat, so I'm gonna make her a tattletale. And I'm gonna make her have the... Let's go for the motor skill with her. And let's go ahead and make her as well. Okay, so here is little Joan's looks. I've kind of got Joan as a little bit of a girly girl. She's got really rosy cheeks, like she's teething or something. But I just think they're kind of cute. There we go. So that's Joan, our only little blondie. We struggle to get on with Joan. We struggle to get on with Ellis. But we're pretty close with Margaret. And we are apparently the most beautiful sibling. I was jealous of her red cheeks so I went ahead and gave myself some as well. I think so far I probably am the cutest looking kid but hey it, oh, you can only really tell when they become teenagers. And we have so many children now sharing this room because I'm gonna have to get rid of the toddler bed and all the girls are in here together now. I'm not sure how they're all gonna find sharing a bedroom considering I only get on with Margaret but it's just the easiest solution. We're not like a super wealthy family so it's kind of what we gotta do. I've gone and like switch around the rooms. I had to like go into the boys room a little bit into little Ellis's room and I've tried with the bunk beds again. I don't know. I, I definitely had other bunk beds. I have no idea where they've gone but I'm hoping this is still gonna work because the two younger girls are gonna have to share a bunk bed and then I'm just gonna age myself up one final year to age 12. Still really struggling to get along with Ellis. Uh, I seem to be getting along okay with my sisters. I'm gonna try again with Ellis. I'm a little bit worried about how bad our relationship is. Okay, we agreed with each other there. Agree. <laughs> and I'm gonna spend a little bit of time with him. We went to the park together. Okay, that's nice. That will be something that we do. Just because I really don't want them to have this horrible relationship with each other. Oh, yes. Okay, I found the other book bed and that works. So, hey, at least all the girls can share a bedroom together. Okay, so there we are in the park, despite being smelly. I'm in the park, at least with my brother, before school. And in the next episode, I think we're born so close together that I think most of us are all going to become teenagers at the same time. I can also get her to start going to the library and meditating, but when she becomes a teenager, we can start looking for love as well. This episode has definitely been a lot about sibling rivalry, and we definitely have a favorite sister. But I'm trying really hard for her to have a good relationship with everybody. And I'm sort of also enjoying just how beautiful and amazing the whole family is. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you want me to change or have Violet's look a certain way, let me know in the comments below. Look how stinky they both are. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I'll see you in another one. Bye! Every time I tell me what I'm gonna do.